YouTube, it's Andy Frank here. Today's episode of Hobby Talk, I want to talk about a subject that might not be something that a lot of, uh, like maybe older time collectors or um, people that have been in the hobby for years might not want to think about, but are we about to see the end of the collectible card era? Like physical collectible cards. I've been wondering about this quite a bit lately with Topps. Um, losing their license uh, Panini's losing their license who knows what Fanatics is really going to do with these licenses I've almost kind of wondered if they might be buying these out just to stop the pro the production of actual physical cards because everything's going to everything seems to be going to digital type things like NFTs blockchain cards um, where physical cards that we can put our hands on might not be going on forever and you can look at other industries <clears throat> look at the newspaper newspapers i think you can still buy newspapers but back when i was younger this would make me sound old that was a thing every day you you got the newspaper and read the newspaper to read the daily news guess what now we have the internet people don't buy newspapers anymore um, music, well, music has changed a lot over the years. There were, first there was phonograph records, then there was like video or eight tracks, then cassette tapes, and then something I always bought was CDs, like this Weezer CD. I actually got this uh, Weezer concert and signed by the band members there. But now people don't buy CDs. I, I've only bought maybe one CD in the last two or three years. Um, as CDs have kind of kind of gone the way of other forms of media where everything's digital downloads, streaming, stuff like that. Um, there's the world of magazines. <laughs> magazines, this is the only magazine I have gotten in the past probably five years at least. And it's because it comes free with my PSA stuff. And I've never opened a single one of them. I think they're cool looking just to put on my shelf though. But the magazine, people don't buy magazines anymore. Everything's the internet. The movie. Now this is something that when I was a kid, when um, video cassettes first came out, that was like an epiphany. <laughs> it's like you actually have movies and have them at home and watch them at home. Um, I remember when we first got VCR, the first movie that we got, I think it came with the VCR, was Raiders of the Lost Ark and I, me and my brother probably watched that a thousand times definitely my all-time favorite movie and uh, my uh, good friends they actually had a thing called Laserdisc it was about as big as a magazine and it went to a Laserdisc player we watched uh, Star Wars movies on Laserdiscs it was the most amazing thing ever and then of course video cassettes kind of went out and, and this is what I have. I have a bunch of DVDs, which again, I'm not buying too many DVDs anymore. DVDs are just basically like CDs, and now everything's streaming. And yeah, there was also Blu-rays that came out after DVDs came out. <clears throat> video games, I forgot to bring a video game over here, but video games used to come on cassettes. Um, they also came on, um, or sorry, cartridges, and then they came out on CDs. Now... You go to the video game store and you're buying a code to load your game onto your PS5, PS6, whatever. So that physical thing is kind of gone. And I think we're starting to see the end of this. And what this is going to make me very sad if, if we no longer have like actual physical cards we can hold in our hands and touch. I love card collecting. I mean, it's a great hobby. But it's in danger right now. I really feel like it's in danger. Um, baseball cards, Tops, just this week is going to be releasing, um, I think it's their first NFT blockchain style product. Uh, I think they might have done one other one before, but um, they did, a, I know they did like some bazooka packs and some soccer. And this week they're going to come out with um, NFT packs of um, to, uh, Tops Inception 
I don't know if it's 2022 or 2021. But anyway, it's coming out this week. I was thinking about buying a pack just to see how the whole thing works. And um, maybe I'll like it. But it's really strange how things have gone. And the fact that Tops is not going to be able to make um, physical cards after 2022 of baseball cards really has me wondering if this was part of the plan all along. Nothing beats like this. I think this is Adoles Garcia, Bowman's first autograph. I mean, this is hand signed by Adoles Garcia. It's going to be hard for me to imagine that people won't want to collect stuff like this and will just want a digital image of this instead of the actual card. I mean, that's such a cool card. Wander Franco, this is his first Bowman card. Will people care about this in 10 years? As awesome as Wander Franco is, when they just have his digital rookie cards. Um, Star Wars cards, they have digital cards of those. I don't, don't think they've done any NFT cards, but um, Panini's been doing NFT products, digital blockchain stuff. Pokemon um, has actually, they've been doing digital cards for a long time, but they're not NFTs per se. They're just the online version, digital version of cards. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of people that would rather play the game, um, digitally rather than in person. And, and in-person games is probably taking a big hit with, with coronavirus. Are we going to lose out having these awesome, um, physical cards? I mean, just look at, I mean, just brings back some memories and you get to hold it in your hand. I love them. But I'm old school. Maybe the younger collector may not have any interest in having an actual card. They might be just as satisfied having a digital card. And um, I give out, if you do like digital Pokemon cards, I give out, when I open a pack of Pokemon cards on my channel, I give away the code to somebody. So somebody is able to get those codes and open the digital packs. But... It makes, I've been doing a lot of thinking this past week. That's why I wanted to do Hobby Talk this week. Are baseball cards, sports cards, trading cards, collectible cards, all that sort of thing going to be going away? Um, doesn't seem to be the NFT craze or whatever. Doesn't seem to be getting weaker. Seems to be growing. And that has me concerned that um, maybe the younger collector doesn't have any, any interest in you know, physical cards. So I hope it doesn't go away because I love it and it's fun to collect for me. And who knows, maybe in 2023, that's just when you weren't able to get baseball cards anymore. And I can just have fun collecting the ones from the old days. <laughs> anyway, what do you guys think? Are we witnessing the, the death of collecting collectible cards as a whole? Um, did did uh, fanatics was that their whole plan along all along was to buy all these uh, contracts and rights to make physical cards and then watch they won't, won't even make physical cards they'll just make everything digital in blockchain and nfts and stuff like that because they're already in the nft market guys so they don't really need tops um if that was their plan. Their plan was just to wipe out sports card collecting altogether and make it all digital. I, I haven't heard a lot of people talk about that, but I have been wondering about that. And maybe I'll look foolish here, you know, in 2023 when there's tops gets bought by um, Fanatics and makes a 2023 set of cards, which would be awesome. I hope that's what happens. But I'm getting a little nervous about the hobby. <laughs> Anyway, I um, hope you guys are having a great week. Um, you know, stay safe, stay cool. It's still hot a lot of places. Um, definitely um, check out um, Friday. If you guys make any comments or questions, we'll have a follow-up to this video on Friday. Um, and um, I like doing these Hobby Talk vi videos because they're a lot of fun. And I just like putting out there what I've been thinking about in the hobby this week. Anyway, stay tuned for more videos. We'll talk to you later.